Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. I got another episode of Bear With Me today. So in our last episode, uh, poor Miss Millie got attacked. So now we are heading to Paper Town. I think that's the name of it. To try and find the Red Man. So let's go ahead and talk to uh, Brian here. Ooh, wait. Poor thing, I bet he feels so alone up here. Okay. Let's try and talk to him, because we need Good to get evening, entrance. Good evening, officer. Oh, my God, Miss Ashworth. Is that really you? I must say, I've only seen you in the papers, but you look even better in person. Stop, you're going to make me blush. <laughs> Oops, too late. Uh, no, but seriously, officer. Burke, Miss Ashworth, but you can call me Brian. Okay, Brian, we need to enter the city. You see, we're working on this case, and we need to find a friend of ours. He might know some things. I'm terribly sorry, Miss Ashworth. I I'm afraid no one is allowed to enter the city at this point. Not even a beloved and well-known celebrity such as yourself. Oh, I'm so we're so, a celebrity so now. so sorry. Come on. Well... So... So sorry. That's okay. So sorry. Aren't you a bit young to be a policeman? A police officer, actually. I'm fresh out of the academy, but I'm planning to make detective in a couple of years. Well, that's ambitious. Is that a fake mustache? Um, no. <laughs> Does he have a fake mustache, really? It just fell on the floor. Oh what? my god. This is embarrassing. I'm <laughs> sorry. Everyone at the station has a mustache these days, and I just can't seem to grow one myself. My he looks good with a mustache, though. Sometimes. Well, I think you look just dashing without a mustache. It nah, he looks better with it. Well, thank you kindly, miss. That's a tough deal, kid. You'll have a hard time becoming a detective if you don't have a mustache. But you don't have one, Mr. Bear. I'm a private snoop, Jimmy. I don't need to fit in. I walk my beat alone. Oh my god. <laughs> it has some weird, like, long pauses. It's kind of weird. Um, but let's see here. Let's, uh... Let's let's see if he knows anything Stevie, about the red you know man. Anything about the red man? I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I really can't discuss such matters. Uh, I will tell you one thing, though. The word on the street is that the suspect, code name Red, is asking a lot of questions about Miss Ashworth. What kind yeah, we of already questions? know that, though. What's so interesting about Amber, anyways? Hey, don't worry, Miss Ashworth. You're the most interesting person I know. If I was a crazy lunatic with an agenda, I'd stalk you too. Aw, that's so cute. That's Thank you, really Brian. creepy, oh, Brian. No, now, now I'm blushing. I just have to interrupt whatever this is. Jerry, what kind of information is Red after? It's Brian, sir, and I'm afraid I don't really know much about the subject. Only what I hear from the fellow police officers here and there. Besides, I'm not in a position to discuss such matters. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so we didn't get any information from that. Um, have you seen Flint? You haven't seen Flint Ashworth by any chance. Miss Ashworth's brother? That's right. Have you seen him? I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I'm confused. That's understandable, son. You're a <laughs> city police officer. Never mind that now. Okay. <laughs> this guy isn't giving us, like, any details. Can't you make an exception to let us pass? Just this once. Mr. Bear, as much as I admire both you and Miss Amber, seriously, I'm a huge fan, but orders are still orders. Things are getting really bad down in the city. If anything were to happen to Miss Amber, I could never forgive myself. Dave, who ordered this lockdown? The state officials. Mayor Mills himself signed the decree. I'm afraid without the mayor's signature, no one is allowed to enter or leave the city at the moment. Uh, and it's Brian, sir. And how come the city is on lockdown anyways? I'm afraid I'm not in a position to discuss such matters, Mr. Bear. Terribly sorry. Interesting. Okay, so how do we enter the city? So, what is it we need to do in order to enter the city? Well, I suppose you would have to get clearance, signed by Mayor Mills himself. And he'll just sign this clearance, no questions asked. Normally, no. I don't think so. But since you're in the company of the beautiful and talented Miss Amber, I'm sure the mayor will make an exception. So where do we find the mayor, then? I'll have to get the mayor on the phone to sort this thing out. You think he'll let us enter the city? I really don't know. But that drunk owes me a couple of favors. It's time to call him up on it. To the Bat Cave. You mean the Bear Cave.
Bear's office. Hello there, doll. This is Teddy Bear. You may know me from such cases as saving the mayor's ass on several occasions. I've also set you up with a buddy of mine that one time. Of course, Mr. Bear, I know who you are. Are you looking to speak with the mayor, Mr. Bear? Because I'm afraid he's not in at the moment. Can I take a message? No, I have to talk okay. to the mayor personally. It's important. When will the mayor be back? The mayor should be in first thing in the morning, Mr. Bear. Okay, never mind. Thanks anyway, doll. Okay, but we need to get in now. I don't want to wait till morning. He's not in. And we don't have time to sit around and wait till he sobers up. We'll have to find another way. Hey, what if we made the clearance ourselves? That's falsifying government papers, doll. I like it. There should be some station. <laughs> I around like here. it. Give me a minute. Have a drink while you wait. A drink of what? Make believe water? Never mind. Here it is. You're an artist of sorts. Oh. You can do this, right? Not really. I could probably make a stamp out of something, but I can't falsify the signature. Fine. I'll get those two goons to do it. The mugshots? You think they'll help you? Don't worry. My right knuckle can be very persuasive. I didn't mean to skip there, but okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, poor Millie. Alright, so I guess we need to go to the mugshot brothers. I wonder what we're going to have to do to get him to sign this paperwork for us. Any leads on the missing kid yet? That's classified. You too remembered something. Nothing useful, probably. I remember having a crush on Beverly Christie in high school. I would follow her home from school every day. Then she saw me one day and called the cops. Now I'm a registered stalker, amongst <laughs> other things. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we got to do it this way, that's right. There we go. I need your help, low lifes. I've got this fake clearance to enter the city, and I need you to falsify the mayor's signature. And what makes you think we're the right guys for this? Do we look like counterfeiters to you? Yeah, you sure do. Yeah, you do. Or yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, we can do this. But again, <laughs> what's in it for us? Um, can we just do it out of common courtesy? Do it for the kids? Uh, you better do it if you want to play the clarinet again. Uh, let's go with common courtesy. Let's be Can't nice you about just it. do it out of common courtesy? You sure use a lot of fancy words there, Snoop. Would you do it for Amber? <laughs> I would do it for Miss. But something tells me you're just dropping names to get us to agree. She's with me, and she needs your help. Oh, yeah? She sure lost a lot of weight, or you finally lost your mind, because I can't see you. She's in the other room. She couldn't squeeze through. I'll cut you a deal, Snoop. You bring me proof that little miss is with you, and I'll falsify this report card of yours. You mean the clearance. What? Yeah, the clearance. I'll be back. Sure thing, Arnold. All right. So what do we need to get from little miss to prove that she's with us you got it no they don't have anything to write with you have your pencils with you here you go but be sure to get them back I'll be right back okay that was easy I didn't have to do anything all right let's talk to them again. uh wait let's uh give them the pencils there we go there. Does this qualify as proof to you? Now, show some integrity for once in your life and do this thing. Whoa there! Are these the creator's tools? <laughs> Where did a snoop like you get these? Uh, the muffin man gave them to me. Some guy at the local store has a bunch of these. I made them myself. Let's go with the muffin man. The muffin man gave them to me. The muffin man? The muffin man. Amber <laughs> gave them to me, obviously. <laughs> they have her initials and everything. All right there, Snoop. Don't get all riled up. Show me that land deal you want falsified. You mean the clearance. What? Yeah, sure, the clearance. There. Now, if you don't mind, me and John John have some business to attend to. So, how about you hit the old dusty trail? All right, that was easy enough. There. All sorted out. You didn't hurt them, did you? I sure did. Lowlifes like that only understand one kind of language. Oh no, Ted. Why are you always so mean to them? What? No. It's expected with those two. Never mind that now. I got it sorted. Let's head back to that cop boyfriend of yours. Oh. Okay. So we need to use the Swiss Army knife 
on the candle. Yeah, now I got a stamp. All I need now is some ink. And then we use the ink on Messy. the stamp. Hopefully I won't get it all over my pockets. And then we use the stamp. All done. Wow, forging documents is a lot of work. That is dumb. Okay. And then here we go. Here you go, Mike. Signed by Jim. Uh, Mayor Mills himself. Yes, here it is, and it's like totally real and not at all fake. Well, everything seems to check out. Wait a minute. And enjoy the scenery, Miss Amber, Mr. Ted. It's a beautiful view of the city from here. Have a nice night. You too, Brian. Good night, Byron. All right, let's go check out Paper City now that we got through that dumb shit. All right, I guess we're going back there. You ready, Ted? Give me a minute. I thought I left that place for good, you know. What about you? You haven't been there in some time, doll. Yeah, I think so. Besides, we have a case to solve. You're right. Let's go. All right, let's go to Paper City. It kind of feels like going home. God damn it. It really does. Ted, I never asked you. What happened to your former partner? He grew up. Oh, wow. So this is Paper City. Gotta say, I love the scenery. All right, so we finished episode one. That's pretty cool. Uh, it says that there's uh, three episodes, so we still got two more episodes to go through. I'm pretty excited. I can't wait to see what is inside Paper City. I gotta say, I'm really enjoying this game so far. Even though some of the uh, the things we have to do are kind of dumb and don't make a whole lot of sense. It's still really fun to try and figure it out and go along with the story. I'm really interested to see what happens to uh, our brother. I hope he's okay, and I hope we can find him in g relatively good health. I'm also curious as to who the, uh, the Red Man really is. I wonder if it's going to be someone that Amber already knows. Or if it's just a new player altogether. Alright, let's go ahead and click continue. On to episode 2. Wait... New game? Oh, okay, so I gotta click new game, and we'll start episode two. Alright. It's kind of weird that it sections it like that, but alright. Shells Bay Diner. Oh, we got some interesting characters in here. All right. Well, well, well. Look what the booze dragged in. <laughs> wow. That was really bad. Cut me some slack, all right? I had a long night. Hi, Betty. Long time no see. Not long enough. Always a charmer, Ted. Hi, darling. It's been a while. You're still as pretty as ever, and you've grown. Oh, uh, thank you, Betty. You look amazing. Are you getting ready for a casting call? Huh, yeah. It's for a movie called 24-Hour Shift Survivor. <laughs> you really look the part, babe. Don't be rude. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you talking, Bear? 
I couldn't hear you over the sound of you being so short. It's like you're not even trying anymore. Ah, I missed you, Bear. Literally. So yeah, are we going to pretend that never happened? You had it coming! Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah, your bestie here tried to shoot me. I'm sure oh, you really? it. He did. <laughs> you, know, you can't kill him, but they'll sure as hell try to kill you. Oh, please stop being such a drama queen, Ted. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead. What are you talking about? You missed my head by half an inch, grazed my left ear, and I fell out of a 20th floor window. I was in the intensive care for two weeks, and you didn't even have the face to show up. Did you not get the flowers? I did. They were lovely. And nothing says I'm sorry like a funeral wreath. Sorry? <laughs> oh my god. After what you did? I'm thinking I should finish the job right now. Hell hath no fury, indeed. It seems you two have a history together. Hey. That's an understatement. Never mind that now. Avoiding touchy subjects as always, I see. You've matured so much, Ted. No, not at all. It's just, we're kind of in a hurry. Wow, okay. Um... Have you seen CBG? I don't know who that is. Let's, uh, let's ask about Flint first. We're looking for Flint. Have you seen him lately? Or talk to anyone who has. Flint? Oh, I've heard about that. Darling, I'm so sorry. Thank you, Betty. We actually thought he might be here in Paper City. I'm afraid I haven't seen him for quite a while now. Oh, really? Okay. Who told you about Flint? Because everyone who knows is at the house. And no one's allowed in Who Paper told City. You about Flint? Blabbermouth was here recently. It seems he's doing some sort of investigation on the events surrounding the Red Man. Hmm. He's looking to get killed, more likely. I'm sure he'll be just fine, Ted. He's been doing this for a long time. Doing what? Hiding in the bushes and going through people's trash cans? You should really give him more credit. Every case you solved, he was the one that wrote an expose about it. He basically made you famous. Huh. I'll send him a gift basket. He won't. Is he still writing for the paper daily? He's their top news hound. Oh, interesting. All right, what do you know about the man Recently, in red? Recently, we came across some evidence suggesting the red man might have something to do with Flint's disappearance. I know you've heard about him. So, what's going on here, babe? What's going on, Ted, is that this maniac came down to the city with the sole purpose of burning it down to the ground with everyone still in it. I don't know what the hell he is, but judging by the stories, he's the devil himself. I pray that he didn't have anything to do with Flint's disappearance. I mean, he probably did, more than likely. All right, let's hear about CBG, whoever that is. Have you seen is. CBG? I was told he hangs around the harbor lately. Yeah, he's here, all right. And hanging around is really the perfect choice of words. How can we find him? You can start at the container terminal. He's been there almost every night for the past couple of weeks, chasing seagulls and yelling at the terrified harbor workers. You talk to him lately? He comes in every so often, usually waits for everyone to leave and then sneaks in. He almost gave me a heart attack the other day. What happened to him? He was brilliant once. Best detective in the whole world. Well, second best. <laughs> Anyways, one day he just snapped and he was never the same again. I guess that kind of lifestyle takes its toll on people. Just ask Ted here. It's only a matter of time before he starts raving on the streets about seagulls and populace control. But Ted's retired. Yep, here I am, just enjoying my retirement. Retired? Hmm, never took you for a hobbyist. <sighs> and no, Ted, getting drunk isn't a hobby. <laughs> Is that Pete over there? Yep. That's old Pete. Jeez, Pete. He Daddy and Ted and just do not he get sure along. Is. He has a bit of a drinking problem. You can relate, right? Don't get smart with me, babe. What exactly is he doing around here? Oh, this and that. Mainly he's in charge of the drawbridge and some other stuff. Is he off duty? I guess so. No bridges need drawing at the moment. Well, if you can wake him up, you can ask him that yourself. Good luck, though. I've been trying to wake him up for a while now. He's out cold. Yeah. Anyways, we're leaving. We have to find CBG. Thank you, Betty. Good luck with your next audition. Thank you, darling. Good luck with your case. And Ted. What? Be safe. Maybe we can get together someday after all this is over. Have a cup of coffee or something. Sure thing, babe. I'd like that. Bye, Betty. So, you and Betty. Shut up. <laughs> 
All right, let's see if we can wake up Petey over here. He's really out cold. You say it as if it's a bad thing. Let's see here. Hey, Petey, time to get up. Petey, do I need to light you on fire? Oh, whoa, all my stuff's gone. Just attack him with a sword, that'll wake him Oh, okay. That would wake him up. Whoa, okay, I don't know what I just did. We should get back to the harbor doll. I need to talk to CBG and see if he knows I meant more to click the chest, but I clicked right. the, the other back. thing. I, okay. Ooh, mysterious man Clark. Ooh, we gotta talk to this guy. What is this? 